Hi Cancerians, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna be doing a general reading, okay? Um, I do wanna let you guys know before, as I was preparing for your reading, I had a vision of someone being in a, um, being in a lake and they were in the lake washing themselves, but they were washing themselves with something that was making their skin raw. And they kept saying, I'm not clean, I'm dirty, I'm not clean, I'm dirty. And what was revealed to me was that whoever this person is, I feel like they've had a very promiscuous past. Um, I feel like this person was very promiscuous and uh, very, exper like um, they experimented a lot sexually. I'm hearing like a sexual deviance. And because of the things that they've done sexually, in their past they feel dirty there's something about you and your light that triggers them so i feel like you're dealing with someone that really feels ashamed of the things that they've done sexually in the past and they feel dirty and undeserving of someone like you let's see what's going on here uh-oh Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Mmm, yep. Yeah, you're the Empress. Yep, multiple lovers. This person is struggling. They're carrying baggage because they've had multiple lovers. And then here it is, they meet their Empress. They've been brought together with someone that they feel like it's just everything. The Empress embodies all of the queens. Like, and that's what I'm saying. This person feels like you're everything. They're, they would be lucky to have someone like you. Yet they're overwhelmed and stressed out because of the amount of lovers that they've had. They can't even face someone like you. That's how they're feeling right now. They're walking with their head down because they feel ashamed. They feel embarrassed. And here is spirit saying, I'm trying to give you this cup because you are worthy to have real love. But they don't want to accept it because they don't feel worthy of this connection with you. They don't want to accept it. They feel like the empress deserves an emperor and they don't feel like an emperor. They barely feel like a king. Tell me this person's challenge. Clarify this challenge. We got here ruthless coming through. <sighs> hmm. Unlo unlovable is coming through. This person was mean. I feel like this person, because I feel like this person is, um, again, part of the baggage that they're carrying is that I feel like they were mean to you. They acted in a ruthless way towards you, but they only acted this way, or they were acting this way because they didn't feel like they deserved the love of the Empress. This is why this person was acting ruthless with you. Because it was a part of sabotaging the connection. I don't feel worthy of this love. So they started acting mean towards you. Again, your light, this you, this empress, you triggered their shadows. You triggered their demons. And you made they felt insecure by you. You weren't intentionally doing this. You can't help who you are. But this person and the love that you were giving them started to trigger them. And this is someone that doesn't feel like they deserve love. And look at here, judgment. This person feels they they are um they they get judged a lot, but they're afraid of your judgment if they come clean about the things that they've done. See, look at here, I don't feel comfortable. See, I'm no match for this empress. And if you knew all of what I went through or what I've done, you would judge me. So they don't feel comfortable enough. Yep, they feel empty, void. 
unworthy of love, especially the love of an empress. That's unconditional love. She gives off unconditional love. She's no fool, though. She has boundaries. She knows her worth. But she's nurturing. Everyone falls in love with the empress. That's you. Everyone falls in love with you. Everyone loves you. They come to you for advice. They come for you to you for guidance, for direction, for healing, for motivation. You give that to them. You're everything to this person. You're, you're like, this person is like, I would be lucky to have you and show you off. But I don't feel worthy of you. So I'm going to act nasty towards you. Because I'm mad. You trigger me. You make me feel ashamed for what I've done in my past. For the people that I slept with. The things that I've done. You make me feel nasty. You make me feel disgusting. You make me feel dirty. I don't deserve this love that you're giving me. So I'm going to act out like a child. Because I am a hurt child. I refuse to open up. I refuse to accept your love and your cup. Yep, here's that judgment coming through again. Yeah, that's something that this person cannot take from someone like you. Your judgment means everything to them. What you think about them means everything to them. See, they want to tell you the truth. The Ace of Swords is coming through. This is about gaining mental clarity. This is all about the mind space. And new ways of thinking because it is an A. So they've had some sort of new thought. And that new thought is to talk to you because we are talking about air, communication. Reclaiming one's power by feeling like I can reclaim my power if I tell you my truth. But if I tell you my truth, you're going to judge me. This is someone that feels broken, broken in spirit. This is someone that's not well. I feel like this person has struggled all of their life. And what I mean by that is I wouldn't be surprised if this person growing up was not financially secure. Maybe they grew up where uh, they had to wear uh, like other people clothes or they had to shop at uh, like, you know, the Salvation Army. Like I feel like this person had to wear like hand-me-downs. People, things that people hand it down to them. I, and that's why I feel like this, this person could have been judged quite a bit growing up in life. Like this is making me feel like this person, like I said, they grew up, maybe grew up homeless, grew up um, poor. You know, I don't feel like this person had a lot. So they're used to being criticized, but that hurts them. They experience it all their life. People, I feel like even maybe bullying or being talked about. In school, they even experienced this in school because I feel like they wore clothes that was tore up. Or they, you know how other people, how the other kids had name brand shoes. They didn't have that. Their shoes were bad. I just feel like this person just did not have a lot growing up. Judgment is an issue here. What other people think of them is really big to them. I was trying to think if I... um wanted to use let's go ahead and still stick with the uh, tarot all right let's see what else comes through hmm, the king of swords flipped over in reverse we got the three of pentacles here comes the ace of cups that's the other part. and we got the seven of swords on the board all right here's that ruthless energy yeah the king of swords King of Swords is, is a mean person. Very, very mean. You know, when I see the King of Swords, some of you could have been dealing with someone that um, has narcissistic characteristic traits, or this person could very well be a narc. I'm not a therapist, but 
there's definitely some mental issues here associated with this person and some ruthless behavior. I feel like this person did not care. You, um, some of you could have worked with this person or you wanted to work with this person. You wanted to maybe work things out with them. But yeah, because I'm seeing here, here's your cup of love being extended to them. I feel like they were being blessed with you, the high priestess. You're coming through as the high priestess. So this is telling me you felt this like really divine connection. You felt like this connection may have been a gift from the universe, a gift from that higher power of God that you believe in. You felt very spiritual about the connection and very entombed to this connection. So you may have felt like had psychic dreams or had some sort of psychic abilities that you were feeling around this connection. Your gifts could have evolved. Some of you could have, um, when you met this person, awakened. Maybe, you know, you have like this new way of thinking spiritually. But um, either way, I feel like this person lied to you and they ran from this connection. But I feel like with the King of Swords in Reverse, they didn't care. Because I told you, the King of Swords in Reverse is very cruel and they're all about themselves. There's no love with this King of Swords in Reverse. So this person was running and did not care. And that goes back to this ruthless energy here. So I'm just being honest. This person, when they were acting the way that they were acting with you, they didn't care. Doesn't mean, you know, they do care now, but back then, they didn't care. They lied to you. I feel like someone was cheating at work or cheating um, on you with a third party, lying about it. Someone could have been lying about, uh, you could have been dealing with someone that was lying about what they were doing, you know, saying they were going one place but was going another place. But this, but you were giving love. They were being blessed with a very special connection, but they ran from it. And they lied, too. Tell me about this King of Swords in reverse. We're going to take a light card and a shadow card. We got here father figures coming through. Uh, yep, avoidance. That's that running. That's this right here. Scared to face the truth. So I'm going to tell a lie. Living in denial. Running away from pain. I don't want to get hurt. Let's take a shadow. This person had a ruthless father. I'm going to tell you about this father in a second. I feel like whoever this father was, I feel like the father abused the mother and the children. I feel like they're five. I'm getting here a very nasty father. And this is making me feel like this King of Swords is angry because of what they experienced as a child with their father. See here, disillusion. And we already saw here the now. So something, um, what they were expecting Something wasn't right here. And you see this cold energy here. Like I feel like their father, there's something going on here with this father. Yeah, they, um, this person is angry with their father. They're disappointed. They're disappointed in the father that they um, had. Because I feel like this father may have came across, and this could have even been the stepfather for some, the father figure. They could have came across, because it says makes a great dad. So I feel like the father came across as if the father was just this great dad. However, the father was ruthless and made your person feel unlovable. Made the mother feel unlovable. And I feel like they're carrying baggage this person um, has been taught how to be a liar. And what I mean by be a liar, they've been taught to mask, like not to, to bury their emotions. Because remember, we're dealing with the King of Swords. They don't wear emotions. They've been taught to hide emotions, avoid emotions at all costs. So they, they, um, they've been taught to remain within their head. So there's no balance here. 
So they'll tell them, you need to put on a quote unquote brave face, a poker face. You need to act like everything is okay, even when it's not. Even when you wanna cry, you don't cry. Shut up, be quiet. Wipe those tears off your face. Stop being a punk. Like that's what I'm, that's what I'm giving. This father was a piece of work. Like, and I really feel like emasculated your person, this person here, like made, this, this was a boy and made them feel less than. This father bullied them. Mm. Sorry guys, I am thirsty. <laughs> All right, so yeah. I feel like, and I feel like the thing about it is you're, this person here that want, that's um, feeling ashamed of, of even talking to you about this, I feel like they're still having a hard time facing what happened to them with this father. There's still some level of denial because again, they've been taught to mask pain. So this person is really good at acting like they don't give a damn because it's something that's been ingrained in them since childhood. This person can care so much about you, but you will never know it because their face will never show it. They've been taught how to live a lie since childhood. And anything that deals with emotions, they run from it. Anything that will deal with conflict surrounding emotions, they will run from it. We got here one sided coming through. Again, you see here, like this person and having um, a sheet over their face. Some, this person is still, oh man. Let me get another card with this. Something isn't clear. I feel like this may be someone that's not here anymore. I feel like, okay, this is giving me like, this is why, th I feel like this person's father has been trying to come through this reading. That's why, because, you know, when I was like, you know, uh, I felt it when it was like, shut up and saying punk and say, like that, I don't even use that. I don't even talk like that. So, I like this, and I, this is making me feel like a ghost. And I feel like um, with this sheet on this person's head, I feel like this person's father is just not here or or they're not, or the father ghosted the family or is no longer there. So either they're deceased or they just up and left the family. But I really, I don't feel like it's, I feel like for the majority of you, I feel like this person is no longer alive. I'm, cause I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like they, they want to, I feel like this father wants to reach out to this person because they're no longer here, some of them, they may be here, but they're in, not in contact with this person anymore though. But it's like they want to get a message to them. I don't know what it is, but they want to get a message. Yep, see here, I told you, haunted. See, th I, they may be coming to, and this is probably why your person is like, you know, scared to face the truth. I feel like they that this father maybe tries to come to them in their dreams or tries to give them signs haunted right yeah see pain because i feel like this father is in pain i feel like they haven't gotten any rest or they're not getting rest for how they treated this person the person that wants to be with you they're haunted from the other side i feel like they, i feel like they're not here anymore and again for those of you where they are here they're haunted by how they treated um your person All right, let's see what's going on with cancers. We got the three of wands, the ten of swords, oh, the tower. Family is the under our energy here. 
All right, so what I'm seeing here is that, um, yeah, I, guys, wow, okay. Yeah, someone passed away. I'm seeing it right here. Someone passed away. And I feel like this, I feel like this passing was a surprise. And this is making me feel like, like this father has passed away or something happened to them to like maybe they could have gotten injured because I'm feeling like they were injured or passed away because this is a 10, okay? So take it how it resonates. For some of you, they will have passed away. For others, they could have just gotten injured. But I feel like um, with this tower moment here, I feel like it was like this, this is a family situation. So I feel like this passing was something unexpected. And I feel like this father may have passed away in, in like a, maybe for some like a brutal way. And I feel like, um, I feel like when this took place, your person was kind of left wondering about their life with this three of wands. And what I mean by wondering about their life, like wondering where do they go from here? What do they do moving forward now that this father or father figure is no longer around? I feel like some of them may have moved around. They may have traveled a lot. I'm also getting here enlisting. Someone could have enlisted in some sort of service, like someone's job. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like enlisting too. So maybe enlisted in some sort of um, like the army or something like that because I'm seeing here traveling a lot but this took place after I feel like uh, this father's passing or just moving around because this person was feeling uh, you know quite lost and confused about life with especially because this was a tower moment for the whole family though this was a tower shocking for the whole family We got here a message. We got, uh, yeah, see, occupation. Yeah, someone's job. And I feel like I could have been traveling for work. And we got here great fortune. So, Cancers. Mm. I feel like this separation between you and this person was supposed to happen. And I feel like it was supposed to happen because I feel like you were supposed to use whatever you went through, whatever this betrayer was, to broaden your own horizon because the two of you kind of have similar paths but not like the shadow sides of it don't have to necessarily be similar like just like how i said they traveled i feel like you this is because this is about you but this is what's coming through for them so i feel like you've both maybe moved around or you've both traveled um kind of like that thing but i feel like right now this is about this had to happen to broaden your horizons for you to grow and to use what you went through like to turn this pain into your purpose into your job because it looks like as you do this work as you use what you went through to um, help other people's or to grow some sort of business that's going to help others you're going to reap a great fortune I also feel like you and this person are at a distance. So I don't feel like you guys may live in the same state or you don't live that close to each other or they're figuratively at a distance from you where they feel like they can't reach out to you because they do want to communicate with you. And we saw that come through earlier. This person wanted to send you a message. This may even be a letter. This is going to be a letter that this person sends. They've actually written it up. They just have not sent it yet. They're still holding off on sending you this message. This person wants to communicate with you, but they're at a distance from you. So they don't, for, for, so for some reason, they feel like it's kind of hard to give you this message. 
for whatever reason you wouldn't know why maybe because of how things ended let's clarify this message the king of pentacles so whoever this person is, we got the three of swords that wants to speak to you. This is someone that broke your heart. And I feel like they want to write you this letter, seeing as though it's the king of pentacles coming through. This is someone that is serious. And this is someone that is not, um, struggling financially. They actually have a home. I'm seeing a home back here. So this person may have bought a house or they do have a house. I feel like this person is very stable and very serious. And it seems like this is what they want to talk about in this message to you. And they do want to talk about whatever it is that they did to hurt you. Yeah, they want to make up for it. They want to now extend their love to you. But I feel like they want to extend their love to you after they've gone through therapy. This is someone that has went through therapy gone through some sort of healing they want and this is what they want to message you about they want to talk to you about what they've done to heal because the king of pentacles is someone that's very loyal committed traditional the king of pentacles is very traditional this is someone that's marriage minded as well someone that's not into playing games this is someone that's a provider and a protector what can you tell me about this king of pentacles what else can you tell me very mature person is what I'm getting here. This is a very mature and stable person. So they have their own. They have a lot too. It's like it's growing. So they're, they're steady reaping. But we got thoughts. Yeah, you're on their mind. Yeah, they're thinking about what they want to say to you. And sending you this message. This is an official person. Didn't I tell you someone? I feel like someone was in the um, in the army or something. I told you guys that I felt that. Like someone was in the army. That's not everyone. But for some of you, this person uh, was in the army. See, poverty. I told you this person grew up poor. And I feel like they got into the army and I feel like made something out of themselves. Some of them are self-made. Yeah, see here, battle, went through battles. This is, the, this is indicative of their life being a battle and going from nothing to something. You're on this person's mind. And this message communicating to you is what's on their mind. Um, I thought I brought my message cards. Why didn't I bring them? I, they, were, they told me to bring them and I didn't. Let's see, tell me about this communication. What's going to be in this letter? We got here. Unsure about your partner, emotionally confused, mixed signals. So it looks like heart in a knot. They're going to be telling you this about how they were unsure and they were confused. They kept looking for a sign. So it looks like this person is going to be communicating with you uh, about how they were not certain about this connection. And they were unable to trust their gut feelings. They kept looking for some sort of sign to say, yes, you're the one. They're looking for a sign now before sending you this message, too. Because this person doesn't want to put themselves out there unless they get a clear sign that it's okay to reach out to you. Tell me about this message. Yeah, see, taking a risk, a new adventure, putting yourself out there. Unknown outcome, not knowing the outcome, but willing to take a risk. They're, that's why they're coming through as the King of Pentacles, because they're making healthy choices. And they see you being the one that's inspiring them to make these healthy choices and clean up their act. And choosing a better partner. Yep, because they were toxic. They were toxic. See, contact. I want to contact you. You're going to get the message. This is them reaching out to you. Some of you, this may come um, either via letter or an email, a text message, a long text message. Let's see what this occupation is about. All right, so... 
this is you guys. Someone is, is trying to sabotage you at work or sabotage you when it comes to whatever it is that you're doing. I don't know if this is a person or if this is you. Let's get some more insight around this. But I'm seeing here sabotage when it comes to work. Like someone's seeing you as competition and trying to um, defeat you. Trying to make it so that you lose. Yeah, we got the nine of what spying. Someone is spying on you. You've been through a lot, Cancers. And I feel like you, whoever this person is, you may know them and you may already know not to trust them. But there is someone in your energy, whether they're physically around you or at a distance, that's spying on you, watching what you do work-wise. And I wouldn't be surprised if they go back and tell other people about what it is that you do. Let, let me see, has this person been in Cancer's home? Because I feel like for some of you, this person could have been in your home and they're nosy and then they'll go back and tell other people what's going on in your home or in your life. But I feel like they're doing things because they don't want you to win. They want to see you lose. They want to come out on top. They want to, This person always want to one-up you. I don't know who it is. You will know who it is for your situation. We got adjudication coming through. Whoever this person is, they're going to have to answer for this. Some of you, you may be going through a court case. And for others, this could just be um, spiritual. Whereas whatever this person has been trying to do to sabotage you, they're going to have to answer to a higher power for this. They're not going to be able to get away because I feel like they're not going to be able to get away with what they're doing. Because I feel like I'm seeing gossip here too. They could be spreading rumors about you. But they're messing with the wrong one because I feel like those of you um, who this is for, you're doing the work of God, the work of the universe. You're doing spiritual things. You're doing things that's helping other people. So whatever this backbiter is doing and this cunning person, because this is a cunning person, again, they don't want you doing better than them. So they're talking crap about you. They're going to have to answer to God about this. They're not going to get away with it. Because, see, while they're talking about you and, you know, trying to, you know, come out on top and look better than you and be better than you, you're busy working. You're not paying it any mind. And God is saying, they're going to have to come before me. Let's get a shadow with this. Yeah, see, we got here cowardly coming through. See, they're doing it behind, that's what I'm saying. They're doing it behind your back. So you probably, you may suspect it, but you not, you're not going to see who the actual person is because this person's a coward. They're doing this behind your back. They wouldn't dare show their face to you to where, you know, you know exactly. They would not want to be found out is what I'm ultimately trying to say. That's why they're doing all this talking and backbiting behind your back. And this person, I feel like, is, is jealous of you. And what you have, I, I keep giving something about the house. What is, maybe, what is this about? Something, someone may work from home, or you may be um, doing something with your hands as it pertains to your career uh, at nighttime. Maybe you're moonlighting, so you may have like a full-time job in the daytime, and then at night you do some, you do your uh, your passion. So maybe you sew at night. Maybe you make um, dresses or clothes at night. You know, maybe you make candles. Maybe you sell crystals. I feel like someone works from home at night though, doing uh, something that they're passionate about. That's why I keep feeling house. We got poverty coming through. I feel like here, because we got great fortune at the end. 
whatever you're working on, I feel like you, it's not making you a lot of money right now. And that's why I feel like whoever this person is that's talking about you, they, they, are, they like it when you're not winning. They like to see you struggle. They like to see you uh, not have a lot of money. But they're afraid, though. They're afraid because they know deep down inside you're hustling. That's why I'm getting here like moonlighting. Or just, you know, you're working a lot of long hours to make whatever it is that you're doing succeed. And this person knows that you're going to succeed because you're very focused. You're very focused. And I feel like you're very determined. So that scares them, which is why they're talking about you behind your back. Because they know you're going to hit gold with this great fortune. You're going to go from not making anything to making a lot. But be careful because I feel like some of you are working really long hours and it may be affecting your health or it could be affecting your health. See, in your home, this may even be a family member doing all this talking because I, like I feel like this person could have been in your home. And some of you are even doing this while you have a child. Some of you are trying to have better and do better so that you can create a new pathway for you and your kids. Clarify um, this great fortune. Yeah, look at here, holding on. Yeah, you're gonna be keeping this a secret. I feel like when you when you start making money, people are not gonna know because you're not gonna be someone that's um, you're very you're gonna be very humble about it. But you're also not gonna be flashing your money because you ain't trying to loan nobody no money. You holding on to your coins. The money is going to come in. But you're not going to be um, saying, here, have some of my money. No, you're going to be keeping your money. You're going to be saving your money and holding on to your money. Because some of you want to buy some property. You may want to buy some land, homes, right? So I feel like you're going you're gonna to get this money, but you're going to be holding on to it. But I feel like holding on to it. Again, I'm seeing this child. Some of you may be holding on to money because you want to make sure your kids have money. Or your grandkids. And others could be holding on to it because they grew up without having any money. But I feel like when the money hit, you're not going to be spending it on um, lavish things. You're going to spend it on important things to you. Yep, see, you got here your whole future ahead of you. And look, happiness and success and abundance. You're going to be trying to figure out how to wisely. I feel like this is giving me like wisely spend your money, not rushing out and spending it. You're, you're going to be making like really profound decisions on how to invest this money to where you have success, but also your kids and your kids' kids have success. And I'm seeing here love, but it looks like here waiting. So the money is going to be there, but when it comes to love, it looks like there's still going to be uh, some waiting for you guys when it comes to that. Let's see what's coming towards you. All right, let's see what is coming towards cancer and love. Because we see success when it comes to your money. You're going to have money and you're going to be trying to decide, like, you know, what investment that you can make with this money when it comes in. Looking to grow your money. But let's see, we saw waiting when it comes to love. What's coming in, in love for cancers? Oh, I had these in reverse. I don't, I don't, I, I take that as a, um, that's not an accident. So take it as it is. Um, I feel like you're going to be putting love on the back burner. So maybe this person hasn't came hasn't came in yet. But right now I feel like for you you're not really seeing a future in love, which is probably why we saw waiting and focusing on your money cuz I feel like you're waiting for the right one. Because I feel like you've learned a lesson cuz it looks like you're overcoming some pain with this 3 of swords in reverse. And as you're healing from some pain, I feel like right now you may be feeling love isn't for you. You don't see or at least you don't feel like you're going to be successful in love with the page of pentacles in reverse. So you're like, why even try? So I'm not even focused on love. That's like, like I feel like you guys are not going to be really focused on love because you don't feel like you don't feel like there's an investment in love because of the pain that you experience. It doesn't mean that that energy won't change if someone reaches out to you. I just feel like because right now there may not be any prospects, you just don't see a future right now.
you're focusing on the on the present and what you can control cancers in love yeah faking it look at this it's, it's see up in the air yep i knew it disconnected uncertain status fleeting feelings see divine timing yep waiting like if it happens it happens but look at here faking it you want it you want it but it's like, what can I do? Even though you may want it, I feel like you may not outwardly express, oh, I do want to have love. Because it looks like you're just going to be trying to go with the flow and keep up appearance. And if it happens, it happens. I feel like you may still be triggered by it because it says triggered. See, I told you guys, working. Told you, working. Still may be triggering because of the pain that you're overcoming. So it's like you're disconnected from love. Because right now, love is uncertain for you. You can't trust it right now. So what can you trust is the, like what you can control. And that's the work. So that's why divine timing for you. I feel like you're letting it go. And focusing on work. Acting like you're okay and happy. But still, coming, still overcoming some pain. Alright, Cancers. Catch you guys later. Bye.